Hello, how's everybody today? This is Patricia. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I live in Chicago. And I want to just say hi to everyone. Thanks for watching. And I'm very glad to be out of the construction zone. Oh, my last video was difficult. So in this video, I'm going to continue what I started talking about in there. Out of the karma zone, anger and fear. And there's a lot of stuff coming out of people that's sort of baffling. A lot of anger. Um, there are fears coming up, anxiety. Now, here's some of the differences out there. If this is new to you, and this may be very new to some people, where you might have been experiencing things, but you're suddenly finding out maybe you're on a twin flame journey, and you might not be sure, but your body may be going through some things. Some people might feel like suddenly their body is blowing a gasket. You're boom, 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 boom. Things are just coming up or seeming to well up from out of nowhere. Emotions, triggers, things that have happened. Now some people who might have been aware for a while, you might feel like an old hand at this and this is fine. But if this is new for you, first of all, welcome. Secondly, I want to let you know you're not alone and you're not crazy. Okay, I haven't said that for a while, but there is something about coming out of the karma zone that does have an effect on people. And that is that the wave of energy from October's new moon, so essentially from the new moon in October, this October, through December, this is going to be a lot of the deepest what I call electric traits, behaviors, and occurrences from long ago and far away are going to come out. Now, <clears throat> how does this translate at this level? Emotions, brain fog, anxiety, and is it your fault? Well, long ago occurrences, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to talk about that. It, this energy also has to do with childhoods, both this childhood in this life for some people, past childhoods, and even for some of you, your own self as a juvenile angelic. So you may not have been fully grown or blossomed out even though you lived in an ascended state of being. Okay? And that can throw people off because that has meant here at this physical level, things that people have either endured or tolerated or even dished out. And that can be things having to do with beatings or how people have been disciplined. Some of those things that have occurred, and this can also include falls, like you fall off your bike, you bump into something but hard. Closing or constricting certain chakras, marma points, which are the joint connections you have with your twin flame, and along your meridians. Okay, So you have energetic lines that run almost like train tracks, referred to as the meridians. Okay, If you or your twin had something happen where something affected you, or something occurred long ago, you might have closed that up. You might have tried to like, you know, or it might have shriveled. Okay, who's got shriveled up chakras? Some people do. And for some people, that is your other. Okay, and they're trying to get open. Now, the next thing that's happening, your emotional detachment from the collective the emotional subtle body detachment from your collective at the cosmic level. Your collective and cosmic level refers to your planets of origin. Now, as I've said in other videos and also in some of my webinars, you came here from some place. Not only are you bringing yourselves, you're bringing something to the table. 
you rode in on a wave of color and light. And not only that, you've had an emotional attachment to the places you've been or people you've been with, such as a collective of people. And that has happened here on Earth as well. So you're detaching, but it feels weird. And it can make you feel crazy because you're not going to stay in alignment with them. You're aligning yourselves with your true love. Now, granted, some people are not in that wave. And very recently, I've had the pleasure to meet some people whose timelines are for next year. They've recently found out that, hey, I'm a twin flame, or this is twin flame stuff, or maybe I'm a twin flame. I don't know a lot now, but some things are starting to make sense, even while it doesn't make sense. Or they've had their lives turn upside down. And that being said, they're finding out. So some people's timelines are on this year. Some people's timelines are on next year. And I do tend to feel the timings of things. Some of you are struggling with timelines. So I'm going to talk about that here. Okay? Because the emotional body, it's been connected to you in several places. It will affect several of your systems. So I have an example here. Let's say some of you are what is called an old soul, but that just means you have had a lot of soul experience. And in that soul experience, you have seeds you've brought here. Or in other words, you may be originated from another place. You came here and those seeds are inside you, just like your DNA is inside you, just like here in the United States, this is a bit of a melting pot. You can take a big city like London or New York. They're a bit of a melting pot. And people bring stuff with them. Well, it's been the same at the cosmic level. And so you have times when someone is coming back and boom, they have reconnected at a place. Okay? Why would they be pulled there? Why would the incarnation come and, oh, look, I picked it. It's Australia he landed in. Okay? But this is not by accident. This is actually those connections. The emotional, subtle body connections draws you back. It's vibrationally driven. Now, what is it about Australia? Well, Australia was one of the places that the children of Atlantis um, did go to. It has a very strong connection to ancient history. Those of you who live there know that. But it was also a punishment from some place over Let me find it here. <laughs> Oops, not getting it. Okay. Some place over here in Europe. Okay? And many people went, you know, circumnavigated the globe, went exploring. Sometimes um, there were things that happened. And I recently at my store saw that quite a few brands of uh, foods and drink from Australia are coming here. It's been coming for years. But I found out through one of the labels that there were 19 reasons why someone could be sent here. So while at one point in history, from Atlantis, this was a place to um, go to that was very, very light and lovely, to winding up being something that maybe wasn't so light and lovely. And yet the energetics have been, been there. Okay? So this is where this person incarnates to. Now, what has happened exactly? Well, what has happened is what has happened is this. Okay, I'm going to put this up on the board here. And by the way, I'm kind of doing this a little bit slowly to make a few points so that some of you who might be in another country can understand this from your own perspective. Because I don't speak every language, but I do have 
an understanding of the history. Okay, so you have a few people here that are some of the players. Okay, and they've been in karma. So in karma, you have at the 3D level, that's the survival level. A lot of us know this because we call it that. And a lot of people think Earth is just a place to survive. Like, this is a boot camp. This is survival mode, survival of the fittest, evolution in the works. However, Earth has had a, an ascended level already. It's been a 5D level. Some of you were here at that time. Atlantis, Lemuria, okay? Some of you were not. And that's where some of the differences are, okay? That's what I'm referring to as about the melting pot here. Now, your 3D survival, this does involve the ego and the anima. Anima, okay? This is essentially what you could say the um, part of you that goes into survival mode where your ego tells you things. Now, the ego is one of the subtle bodies. It's not just the mind. It's frequently thought of the mind or an emotion, like arrogance. But the ego is a part of you that has helped you survive in certain environments. However, where you're going, it's not big enough. It's here to help you. So you get people that in 3D, you know, they've been forced to do things. You have the commander or the person who's very much the electric and barking orders and ordering things. I want you to go into that area and completely decimate it. I don't want a living soul. I want you to burn and torch everything. But sir, why would we burn it? We don't, don't be insubordinate. Do not question me. Do not question me. And you have someone who has taken the orders and has gone and, you know, hurt, killed, attacked, or sexually attacked or something, some of the people there. Now, this is where some of this psyche damage does come from. Some of it, not all of it. And who has the most psyche damage? Well, all three have it, okay? Plus the people they're connected to, they're twin flames. But guess who has it the most? The one with the most blood on their hands, okay? And this is what happens here. Now you get someone who lightens up, and they're still the warrior. They're still fighting for things, and the key here is conflict. What has happened long ago and far away? Conflicts, conflicts. And you have people that will justify it. The mind has justified this. The ego tries to justify it. We're fighting for king and country. We're fighting for our union. We're fighting for our guild. And you get a pack mentality. You get those tie-ins to a collective or group that have been trying to get or manipulate things their way. Because while it might have started as defense, it wound up as man manipulation. Okay. Now, how do you go because someone has now gone from being the warrior to the spiritual warrior? But here at this level, that's where the hate begins. That's where, why the hate is getting out of you. That's why throughout history, that has to come out. And yeah, people know about haters. People know about people who've tried to crucify them or attack them or kill them over something that they've been taught or told or some pattern that's there. But the hate began here. Okay? And yet, there's still some good stuff here because... That's why we're doing it here, so that you know how to survive in a 3D environment. Some of you are good at it, and some of you need to let go of those survival ways. Let go of the hate. Your body wants it out. You may not know how to get it out. You may not know why you feel affected by certain groups. What has happened to you in ancient history that you immediately feel a revulsion for something? You don't know. Okay, you may not get those details. But that is what I'm here to help with. And how do you get some of this stuff out? Okay. So you get to this level here. And this is where on other planets the battles and the conflicts and the daily living, 3D and 4D, and in 5D, the battles of magic. That's the real thing that people are 
needing to get out, the battles of misuse of their magic. And this is coming up for people, the subjects of curses, rituals, hexes, voodoo, okay? This has been coming out actually for several months and several cycles. But you're getting back to the level of being lovers. So now you have this person, okay, and not only has the armor fallen away, but now they are considerably lightened up. They have done quite a bit of healing off planet, but guess what happens? They now meet their twin and it's time to finish the job, finish it. And guess what else? No longer is he a he, he's a she. Okay, not a she male or trans. She has incarnated into the opposite to clean up the mess that's been created to a degree. Now to a large extent, yeah, a lot of the big messes are cleaned up, but now it's personal. And they're trying to fit themselves together. But every time his masculine energy comes nearby, her stomach hurts, okay? And they do this push-pull thing, and he gets headaches. He gets really bad headaches. In fact, it's affecting his eyes and his vision. They can't bear to see what has taken place, and they can't really see each other, but they feel each other. And there's additional clearings that have to happen here for their subtle bodies. So the subtle bodies, which is what I teach about and where those connections are, your emotional subtle body detachment at the cosmic level, but right here down on Earth. And I have another thing to show you here. Okay. So this other thing has to do with letting you know what this energy should be like, okay? This energy that we're in, okay? A while back, we started to have the death of the old 3D, and people were feeling it. They were feeling like they were li living and then dying a thousand deaths. Now, I teach this because I've already been through it. In fact, sometimes people say, Hey, Patricia, but you're saying this again. And yes, I'm saying it again because new people are showing up. And also, maybe now is the time for it to be released. Because when a Blu-ray goes through things, we prototype it and we pave the way. That then is created for the Seraphim and the Ophanum to be able to easily do it. And that is also what I teach, the how-to. So, this wave from October to December, okay, these are the times when you will be able to not only release it, but get it gone. So, I want to just share something else with you. For those of you who like cards, or the tarot, tarot cards, let me see if this is showing up right, strength, okay, strength. Now, as you can see in this depiction, it's usually depicted with a feminine energy opening up the mouth of a lion. And you can't tell, she almost looks like she's petting the lion. They're in a very calm place, grassy field, protected by some mountains. You've got an infinity symbol here, the eight. And this is connected to the fire of Leo. So he has a connection to what's come through the lion's gate and what you get to close the door on. And not only that, um, this is pertaining to the sweetness of the animal or the sweetness and purity of you at the, uh, sorry, I took it down, you at the 3D animal level. Why? Because angels are wild and free like nature. We bite back sometimes, but we also have calm periods. And there is a balance here. So the key word here with strength is perseverance. You need to persevere. You need to be on the positive side of what this energy is and is doing for you. This is an eight, which means that a cycle is complete. So for the seraphim, that means that all of the time cycles that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting to be able to ascend from the time of Atlantis when it derailed, 
it's here. For those others of you, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the time to awaken and your time is coming. And you will, people will be seeing new people next year waking up, those people around you. It is ready to be balanced internally. This is where I come in because they teach you how to do the internal cosmic chakra connections that you have with your twin. That is something that only you can reach. Why? Because you are the only ones in and coming together. Okay, you're not bringing a bunch of people with you. You can't carry them even if you tried. Not exes. I know people want to maintain friendships, and that's very admirable. But there are times when your union needs wide open spaces to align what you two are doing. And once a cycle is complete, ready to be balanced, and that's why you might have isolation. Now, one other thing to mention, exhaustion. Okay, what would you feel... If something is finished and the job is done, or a part of a job is done, a cycle is complete. Naturally, you're going to feel tired or exhausted. A lot of you have been working very hard. Pat yourself on the back, okay? But this is also transforming the pleasure, the romance, the creative flow and yours and your twins' relationships to childhood and children, particularly for people who may have their beautiful love child in their family that they are creating, or even children that you are integrating together. Maybe one of you has a child or children and the other one does too. Those will be different childhoods. Mark my words that the people who have children your children are going to go through this stuff too. They're going to have rapid fire ascensions. Okay? So you are taming your animal and becoming free again. The gentle strength, courage, and going within to remove stuff forever. Please carry on. So you're releasing the disappointment and Disappointment does not equal defeat nor retreat. And remember what I said about anger. Anger and being the electric. Anger has been the tool of the electric to get things done. But I will say this. The magnetic part actually has sometimes found the anger to reclaim their dignity. And that happens. And yet you can't stay angry at each other. How do you get rid of it? How do you stop certain things from happening? For some of you, it's happening ahead of time before you're together because you are intended to balance that prior to living with each other. New template of relationship, which is what I have prototyped and assisted in prototyping. Okay, I'm not the only Blu-ray doing that. I don't claim that, but I do know I have done that. The template of new relationship for 5D living means you are not holding or carrying conflicts. You're not carrying ancient stuff with you. So the awareness plus instinct is the angelic way. Angels bite back. They don't, sometimes they bite hard. So if you have a big giant angelic body, what would you think that strength is able to do? That strength has been able to lift the car that strength has been able to move things. That strength has sometimes been fueled by anger. And it's got to go away. It's got to go away. So the strength card is all of these things for you. I want you to take hope in this because for those of you who might say to yourself, well, hey, I did all this stuff and nothing happened. I get you. I mean, nine years ago, I was setting my alarm to wake up at 11 o'clock and 11.11 and nothing happened, okay? But stuff did happen. It doesn't always happen in the time that your mind wants it to. That's the thing about it. And there's a balance between what you allow and receive and what do you do. You have to be proactive. You have to customize this. You are customizing parts of your light body. So how you do it, 
sorry, to your life, to what you like, to what you guys love to eat, to where you want to live. So just to let you know, I have a live webinar coming up to teach where I invite questions and I open the floor for questions. I have a short presentation. I also um, do have a uh, meditation that I do for connecting you with your twin deep inside. We get your upper channels open and I'm teaching some other things about the body in that. Usually runs two hours. And it is Thursday, October 26, 8 a.m. Chicago time. That is 2 p.m. in uh, the U.K. It's 3 p.m. in, I think, France, Greece, and some other countries. And um, it would be uh, very good for people if you are at the point where your body is blowing a gasket. I get on-the-spot guidance for some things that you need. And I do back it up with certain uh exercises that I feel guided will be helpful for you. So there are light codes. There is a meditation. There is a question and answer time. You can participate as much as you want or not at all. I mean, you can just listen if you want. And that, even that's been helpful for people to hear things because it's different than the message boards. It's different than, you know, being out in social media. It is in a protected environment. And that's part of the reason what my guidance is is Sorry, but social media, it's a little bit like the Wild West with people taking pot shots here and there. And you don't really know. And, you know, this is a way for you to um, feel or observe and still feel. <laughs> because I'm all about feeling your twin and feeling the love. The next one that would be helpful for you, and this is the same one I've recommended, harvest your love. This is uh, talking specifically about the mental emotional body, the mental connections, mental emotional false twins, what it means. Uh, and people call them all kinds of things. They call them prepper twins, which that was a term I just heard. Thank you for sharing that. Um, they are called almost twins. They're called sometimes false twins. It's not quite the same. Mental emotional people, they are soulmates. They're from the same group of souls. You may have had numerous lives with them. They're very familiar. There's a friendship form there from beyond time and space or in other places out in the space. But they'll feel like something, but not your twin. They can't even be someone who has killed you or your twin as the love returns back. So, and the grid work. So for people who are asking themselves, hey, uh, Patricia, what about my mission? Or I feel to be on the mission. I'm feeling something. You have to be able to do some grid work. So I talk about that in there. I also talk about uh, mission and jobs and career in my abundance webinar. But the one that's more important for now, harvest your love. The other one, for your cosmic level connections, expansion of love. I have a very specific meditation exercise in here for people to expand your subtle bodies, cosmic subtle body connections, very specific. The reason that these are being recommended is they are pertinent not only for now, but what's coming up in December. What is coming up? It's the quickening for a lot of people. And again, I want to just make a, a very important note here that just because you haven't either A, met your twin, or maybe you're not sure, or you don't, you could, you're upset because you're not together, or you felt rejected. It usually means there's something needing to happen or something moving into place. It's not all your fault. You're not doing this with a conversation. You're doing it fully, wholeheartedly, heart and soul, which is why you're not, why you're detaching. So you're no longer being meek, or defeated, or weak, or taking the easy way out, or feeling unmotivated. If you're tired, regather your strength. Take a little time for yourself. But do not make a retreat, OK? Take a little time for yourself, OK? It's OK to let yourself you know, pause here. You sometimes have to pause and breathe. Maybe you're allowing yourself to be taken care of in some ways. But if it's not the situation, it'll show up. Or if it's not the right person, find out about it. 
This is a time that requires for your twin and for yourself gentleness, being faithful, and being generous. Not generous to not just yourself, it's generous to your twin. Okay? Many times the twin, and I've been doing this for years already, besides doing body work for years beyond that, I want to let you know that for a lot of you, you might assume your twin knows everything. A lot of times you actually know more, or you've at least been doing more research. Gentleness, faithfulness, okay? And this is very important because the anger and their fear still has to come out. Allow them the time, you, they actually have a lot less time than you to get their fears out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see some of you at the webinar on Thursday morning. And also these two, the links will be down below. And if you would like to talk to me in a one-on-one -on -one session, it could be a chat, which is to cover any subject you would like or it can be a causal body session privately done where I do back up everything with other recommendations. I approach it in as comprehensive a manner as possible. I am from a high dimension, so I feel things and I read the heart. Okay, I'm not reading the head. It's not that I can't read the head. I can read the head. We don't want to focus on the head because the head has objections and hesitations and you know, the ego still connected to it. I'm reading the heart, which is how I discern who it is because I don't believe in wasting people's time. And yeah, I want people to graduate to the next level and to be, you know, together because union isn't just living together. It's living within each other. That's what it really is. So, Thanks so much. You can check out the other things I do at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And please subscribe. That's how I keep these things, uh, these updates coming for you. So I hope this is helpful for you. I do hope that you will uh, try some of these things because they're intended to be very helpful. I'm very proud of my work. It took me a lot to put together. These, Each of these are the culmination of about three months of flurious activity by me and um, like flurry, not fury, <laughs> flurious activity by me to um, put it in a concise format for you and to not only that, I'm the Blu-ray who is bringing the light codes. So that being said, I'm proud of my work. There's quite a body of work. I tend to get guidance on what's for now so that it can help people and they can narrow it down. And uh, you've already been called, or if this is new to you, you're being called. Find out what it is. Come and join or reach out. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will be back with more. Bye now.